In today's video, we are here to talk about the things I have been loving lately. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I like to do these things I've been loving lately videos every month. I typically do them at the end of the month, so they're pretty much like a monthly favorites. And in them, I include beauty, luxury, and lifestyle favorites that I have discovered or rediscovered or found a new use for over the past month or so. If you discover my channel for my fragrance videos, just know in this video, there will be no fragrance. I separate my fragrances out because some of y'all love fragrances and that's all you wanna hear about. So I keep my fragrance favorites separate. So if you only care about fragrance, I don't know why. <laughs> I have other fun stuff that I love. But if you only care about fragrance, check out my very next video. That's where I talk about the fragrances that I've been loving over the past month or so. So let's go ahead and get into these favorites. So as per usual, we will be starting with makeup and we're gonna start with the product that I am wearing as my foundation or base product right now. This is from Ilia. This is the Super Serum Skin Tint. Now I have mine in the box and we'll talk about why, um, but I have been using this. I did feature this I think I hauled it in maybe a vlog. I'm pretty sure that's why I mentioned it before, but I have mentioned it on my channel before, but this is a newer product to me. I think I've had it for maybe a little bit over a month and I've really been enjoying using this. So this is a skin tint. It is not a full on foundation, but it does have, I think a pretty good amount of coverage for a skin tint. So like I said, I am wearing it today. I did um, do basically a full face of makeup today with this, but I do like using this product when I'm just wanting a your skin but better type look. I feel like this product really helps to even out my skin tone, just make it look healthy. And I love that it has SPF in it. It has SPF 40, which I think is a really good amount. And I have not noticed any type of white cast or anything like that nothing at all to me it looks quite natural once i actually put it on my skin now let me talk about the cons of this product or not necessarily cons but things you want to be aware of if you're thinking about trying this product so i picked this up in the shade 13 but i have to tell you this is my second bottle because the first bottle i picked up i think 13.5 and it was too red and too orange and slightly too deep for my face so i would say for this product i think you need to go in store to test the shade because the shades are kind of all over the place they don't go in order from like lightest to darkest all the shades do have descriptions of the coloring on them, but I still think it's not an easy range to find your shade in. Plus, when you put this on, it goes on a little bit lighter. And when you actually apply it to your skin, it kind of matches. It's supposed to have this skin matching technology. And I actually think that's the case because when I went to go exchange my color, I tried it on my hand and I applied it, it looked way too light for me. <laughs> I, applied, I applied like three different colors. All of them look completely off, but I feel like I could have went with any of the two or three shades that I tried in store at Sephora. So I do think it kind of has some of that skin matching technology. I'm not sure how they do it, but I do kind of believe it. But like I said, I ended up going with ST13. This is the one that seemed to fade into my skin the most that I couldn't detect it. So this is the shade I went with. Another con that I want to mention is this is a dropper. So as you can see, it's very liquidy. So for me, this is a product that I keep upstairs in my uh, bathroom because it's a lighter makeup product that I use kind of more so when I'm in a rush or I just want a really light look. And because of where I store it, I would like to be able to lay it down in my drawer, but I don't know if you guys can see, I have a little bit of leakage from laying it down. So I think the best way to store this is to actually keep it in the box <laughs> and lay it down 
or to stand it up. So after this video, I think I'm gonna go clean this and I'll just stand it up from now on. I'll have to put it in a different spot. I may put it in my skincare drawer because I can stand it up in there and I kind of think of it as more of a skincare product. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show y'all it dirty <laughs> because this is real life, y'all. This is real life and that's kind of a con that I find of this product and with a lot of products that are like this, honestly. Uh, but I do really enjoy this. I apply it with my hands because it says to apply it like a serum and I have noticed that applying it with my hands and rubbing it in like a serum I get the best finish from this this is a quite glowy product when I was looking at reviews on this product I thought it may be too much for my oily skin I feel like this is turning into a review of this product and I promise the rest of my favorites I'm not going to talk about this this long but I really wanted to give me all my opinion on it because I do have oily skin like normal to oily skin and this is probably not the best for oily skin however the way that I make this work is I apply it like a serum, like they say. This has very good skincare benefits in it. So I apply it like a serum. So that means that after I get out of the shower, wash my face, I will put on an eye cream sometimes, sometimes not, <laughs> but I don't go in for my regular skincare after that. I just go in with this. So I go from, I don't apply a moisturizer, I don't apply any other serums on my face that I normally would in the morning. This, I go straight to this as my skincare and makeup. And it's been working out well for me. I don't feel dehydrated or anything. And I feel like my skin is just looking really good and healthy since I've been using this. So I'm done talking about that product. <laughs> if you have any more questions on it, you can leave it in the comments. I didn't mean to turn that into a review, but here we are. So again, that is the Ilia super serum skin tint. The next makeup product is the blush that I'm wearing today and this is from NARS. This is Orgasm X. So this is the newer version of Orgasm. It's the more pigmented, better for deeper skin tones version. It still has that same sheen, but this is just a, I feel like it's just a deeper version of the original world famous NARS Orgasm. And I love it. You have to be careful with this blush because you can easily go overboard. It is pretty pigmented. So I apply it just very lightly, but because of the high pigmentation, I think this will work really well on like deep chocolate skin like I can imagine like with that sheen and the deep chocolate color like I can imagine that this would be beautiful on very deep skin tones I love it on me too though but I think because of that high level of pigmentation that this will really work for all skin tones if you are a lighter complexion you can still use this just use a light hand this blends out very well and I just think it's a nice summer blush and I feel like you can't go wrong with NARS blushes. So again, that is Orgasm X. The next makeup product I have is a mascara and this is from Give. This is the brand by Gwen Stefani. This is the Can't Stop Staring Mascara. So I picked this up probably about a month ago just to try out. I think they were having, Sephora was having some sort of mascara sale. I think it was like buy one, get one half off. So I decided to try this one. It was pretty decently priced for a Sephora mascara and I think it had like a five star rating on Sephora. For. So I decided to pick it up and I really have been enjoying it. I am using it today. This mascara is really good at lengthening. I don't think it provides much volume, but honestly, I typically go for lengthening mascaras and I just really like the wand on this. I like the formula. It doesn't flake. It makes my lashes look long. And I really like this ball here at the end of the wand, if you guys can see that. Sorry, we're doing old school YouTube things, but hey. The ball allows you to uh, use the wand in a different way. So I can point the wand and use it like that to kind of get into the detail work. So what I've been doing is using the wand on my lower lashes like this as opposed to like this. And I find that I get less mistakes where I like bump my cheek or whatever with my mascara. And it's just easy to control. I, I really like the formula and I like the way my lashes look. Now, is it the most like va 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 voom lashes? Like it's not giving me fake lash, no. <laughs> but it gives me a good, decent impact and I can build it up pretty well. And I think it looks good on my lashes. So again, that is the Can't Stop Staring Mascara from Give. The next makeup product I have is a lip gloss and this is from NYX or NYX and this is the Butter Gloss 
in the shade Caramel. okay? So this is the newest product <laughs> in this video. I've actually only had this for probably like five days, but in those five days, I have used it a lot and I wanted to share it with y'all because I didn't want to forget to tell you about it because these butter glosses are old. Like this is a throwback for me. I feel like I tried butter glosses when they first came out. I used to love them. And then, you know, I just move on and try different things because that's what I like to do. But I was in Target and I saw the NYX display and I was actually at a Target that I don't normally go to. And they had their stock of their beauty area was so much better than my normal Target. And the lip glosses weren't open. I feel like whenever I look at glosses in Target, they're always opened. And that is like a big pet peeve of mine. Y'all stop opening up these glosses in the store, okay? If you don't like it, buy it and return it, okay? <laughs> Don't open up the glosses, it ruins it for everybody else. But anyway, <laughs> I looked at that section and they had a lot of brown glosses and like brown tone nudes, not just the beiges. And so I decided to try one of them and I really like it. I am wearing this today. Now these glosses are on the sheer side, but they're perfect for me. They're very comfortable. I really like the color. I like the formula. They're not drying. They're not super sticky. I, I just think they're a really good gloss and they're not very expensive. So definitely wanted to mention this. Again, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Caramel. Moving on to skincare, I have one facial skincare product to share with you all. This one is from You To The People and this is the Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. So this is a mask that helps to resurface the skin. It has a little bit of physical exfoliation in it too. You can uh, feel it when you apply it. I'll show you what it looks like, but it's kind of grainy, but not in the way that feels like it's damaging to your skin, just slightly grainy. You can feel when you apply it. Anyway, you, you put this on, you leave it on for two minutes and then you rinse it off. And the reason that I emphasize that two minutes is because I am not great with masking okay because i never plan for it i don't have a masking routine in place i'm very good with my daily skincare which i honestly think is most important because what you do on the daily is generally more beneficial or detrimental to you than what you do every now and again but i do need to be better with my masking this is something that I don't have to plan for because it's only two minutes. I like to rinse off my mask in the shower. So if I get in the shower and then say, oh man, I should have did a mask today. It's not happening, y'all. It's not happening. <laughs> but with something like this, two minutes I can do, okay? Because I could do that even while I'm in the shower and then rinse it off like, you know, once I'm done washing or whatever, somewhere in my shower routine. This works really well. I feel like every time I use it, my skin looks glowy. It takes me only two minutes, which to me is the biggest benefit of this. Um, so if you are lazy with your masking, maybe check this one out. I don't feel like it irritates my skin at all. And I feel like my skin just looks refreshed and glowy every single time I use it. So again, that is the You To The People Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. I have one body care product and I actually meant to share this in my favorites last month, but I forgot. So this is from Native and this is a body wash and it is in the scent Gummy Bears. This smells so good, y'all. This smells so freaking good. I picked this up because of Keiko Beauty. I think she mentioned it on, I don't know if it's her Instagram or on her YouTube, but she mentioned this and I thought the gummy bear scent sounded interesting. So next time I was in Target, I picked it up and I love it. It smells amazing. It smells just like gummy bears, like Haribo gummy bears. It smells delicious. And this was my first native body wash that I had tried. And I really like the way it lathers. It feels very cleansing and that's important to me. I love a good lather. So would highly recommend this has lasted me for over a month i mean this is i don't use it every single day but it has stayed in my shower the entire time and it's lasted me a good amount of time so i um, would highly recommend the native body washes i'm not sure if gummy bears is still available because i think it was part of a limited edition launch but i did see this last time i went into target so 
I'll see if it's still available and link it down below if it is. I do have one hair care product to share with you all. And this is like a rediscovery. This is from the brand Style Factor. It's the Edge Booster Pomade. And this is a great product for your edges. These smell so good. If you've never smelled these Edge Boosters, <laughs> You definitely should because they smell amazing. This is the second container that I've purchased. I think the previous one I had was coconut and it smelled really good too. And I feel like these scents are just like on point. They don't smell so chemically. They smell pretty darn good. That's not why I love it though. <laughs> I love it because it works really well on my edges. I actually, um, since I did my hair, this is my first time showing it on like a sit down video because I've been sick and spring break and whatnot. But I did show my hair on a vlog, but I use this to lay my edges with this hairstyle. I also used it to twist my hair <laughs> with this hairstyle and I feel like it just worked out really well. I also used it on my daughter. I didn't use it all over her hair. Like I did mini twists on her and um, I didn't use it all over her hair, but when we went out of town on spring break, her hair got wet, her twist got wet, and so I needed to like touch up some, and I ended up using this to touch up those twists and retwist some of her twists, and it worked really well on her hair too. I don't feel like it's drying, it has not irritated my scalp, I'm not getting any flaking, even after like using it over and over again on my edges without washing my hair, because obviously, I try not to wash my hair too much when I have my hair in a style like this because the more you wash, you know, the more raggedy it looks. So <laughs> I did have to wash it once I got wa like chlorine water in it. But other than that, I haven't washed it. So I've just been applying this edge gel on my edges. Not every day, cause it depends on what I'm doing. But most days I've been applying this on my edges and I'm not seeing any flaking. And I feel like that's phenomenal for edge gel. Plus it smells good, so it can't go wrong. And I got this big old container for $8.99. Like this is a lot. If you're just using this on your edges, this is a lot. This is a big size. So yeah, had to share that with y'all. I know a lot of y'all already know about this product, but hey, it has been a favorite for me. So next we're getting into the fashion type favorites. I have a couple pairs of earrings that I have been loving. The first one is this pair of butterfly earrings. Hopefully y'all can actually see these. Let's see. So these butterfly earrings, I've been loving. I picked these up from Nordstrom Rack uh, maybe like a couple months ago, but I wasn't sure about them because you never know when you're ordering online if something's gonna look cheap. They weren't expensive, and so I was worried that it was gonna look cheap, but I actually really love them on. They just add to a look without doing too much. Um, I like to wear them when my hair is up or at least pulled back or something like that because I feel like they just really make a statement. So loving these and because I love these butterfly earrings so much, I decided to pick up the version that I had my eye on from Swarovski. So let me show you these because they are also a favorite. So this is the Swarovski butterfly earring that I've had my eye on. I feel like these are not showing up well. Hopefully they are, hopefully you guys can see them, but they are colorful and I love the colors for summer. Now these are a lot smaller than the other butterfly earrings. So let me show them to you. So these are the Swarovski ones. They're like a rose gold shade. And these are the other brand that I have. So you can see they're a lot smaller, but because they're a lot smaller, I feel like I can wear them a lot more. Like they won't Sometimes if my hair is down, I don't like to wear a long earring like this because I feel like it just doesn't go well like with my natural hair. Um, but something like these, uh, they're small enough that no matter how I wear my hair, I feel like they still work. They're very lightweight and they're really pretty and they make a little bit of a statement, but not too much. I really, really like these and I love the colors in them. I feel like they just go with everything like this is definitely giving me summer vibes. So love both of these butterfly earrings. I have a pair of sunglasses that has been a favorite over the past month and that is these from Fendi. I actually shared these, I'm pretty sure in a vlog as well, but when I shared them, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep them and I decided to keep them. I love them. They definitely make a statement, but again, I feel like they're not doing too much. So hopefully these are coming through on camera, but they're slightly mirrored, but you can still kind of see my eyes through them. They have this little cutout here, this tortoise shade 
big to me. It's perfect. It stands out enough on my skin tone, but it's not like so overwhelming on my face. Like I love these. They're, I love the shape of these. I feel like I need to clean them, but I love them. So let me show them to you a little bit up close. Hopefully they're showing up well on camera. But I just think they're really beautiful and they are statement makers without looking too ridiculous. <laughs> Even though I have some shades that are kind of ridiculous looking and I love those too, but I feel like this is a good medium. They're different, but not too far out there. So I really love the case for this too. It's like a puffy, it reminds me of a puffer coat. Like it's actually puffy. So yeah, definitely had to mention those. The next fashion type favorite I have is this bag. And this is from YSL. This is the college bag in medium. I think the shade name is called Brick. And this bag I've had for forever. And if you've been around watching my channel for a while, you've seen this bag so many times. Like this is one of the bags that I have gotten a ton of use out of. I remember when I purchased this, I feel like it was kind of expensive and well i mean obviously it's ysl so it's expensive but you know in luxury bag terms i felt like it was kind of expensive at the time when i purchased it and i didn't know if it would be worth it for me but i have gotten so much use out of this bag it literally goes with everything i have my it's crossbody but i have my strap tucked inside but i just love this bag it has been a workhorse and it, like I said, it goes with everything. It's not super heavy, so I can cross body this and shop with it. And it's kind of one of those bags that like, it was away for a while. I felt like I hadn't been using it and I pulled it out and now I can't like put it away. Every time I put it away, I'm pulling it back out again. So I love that for me. So I definitely wanted to share this. Although it's not new to me, it's an oldie but a goodie and she deserves some love. All right, so next we have some lifestyle favorites. So first up is this candle. This is from none other than Bath and Body Works and this is the Eucalyptus Spearmint Candle. Now, I know y'all are probably looking at this candle and thinking, man, that looks super old and that's because it is super old <laughs> so i don't really buy bath and body works candles anymore i don't know i'm not really checking for them there's nothing wrong with them but i'm just not really checking for them i hardly ever go into bath and body works it's always busy and i just don't have time and i don't like ordering from their online site but anyway i used to buy from them all the time and i have a cabinet Full of candles and I have been trying to be better about using what I have and so I was digging through my stash of candles and came across this one and pulled it out and I think this candle is probably like five years old I don't know I feel like I've had this a long time I don't even remember buying it that's how long I've had it <laughs> but it still smells good and I have been thoroughly enjoying this. As the name would imply, is eucalyptus and spearmint, so very refreshing, calming, gives me zen type vibes, and I've really just been, been enjoying this in my house. I haven't felt like smelling any foodie type candles or any like too deep and smoky type candles, but this is a fresh uplifting scent that still fills a room, like most Bath and Body Works candles do. This fills the room with that refreshing spa-like scent. And so although this is an old label for it, I know this is one of their like go-to scents, one of their classic scents, so I'm pretty sure you can still get this. It just won't look like this, but it smells amazing absolutely amazing and i have been sick so burning something like this has actually just made me feel a little bit more uplifted as i was laying around my house <laughs> so again that is the eucalyptus and spearmint candle from bath and body works and the last things i want to share with you are two books that i have listened to over the past month that i have loved so the first one is atomic habits which was very popular a couple years ago but I never read it. <laughs> and so I finally decided to get the audiobook because I have the actual book and I started reading it and then uh, I never finished it, y'all. I never finished it. Even though I thought it was good, I just, you know, it's hard for me to actually sit down and read things. So I ended up listening to the audiobook and I felt like it was just a really good book. I feel like it is a very practical advice type book. I'm not really into reading a lot of self-help books or 
I don't know. It's just not my thing. I do not enjoy it. But one of my goals this year is to read more books to pour into myself as opposed to just reading or listening to books for entertainment. So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with listening to books for entertainment. I think that's perfect because <laughs> I do it and the next book is going to be purely entertainment. But I'm also trying to, you know, better myself with my books as well. So Atomic Habits would highly recommend. I feel like any age, no matter your stage in life, could benefit from that book, especially if you struggle with procrastination or falling back into bad habits. So that is the first book that I wanted to mention. The second book is, like I said, purely for entertainment. It's for my people who love psychological suspense. Y'all know that's my favorite type of book to listen to or read. And the name of this book is called The New House and it's by Tess Stimson. It was very good. Now I'm gonna say this book is not for everybody because it does kind of touch on some issues that could be triggering for some people. So I would say that if you're interested in this book, definitely read the synopsis on it to see if you think you could handle it because it was pretty intense, but it was so good. I, I'm not gonna tell you about it because I don't know how to explain books without uh, ruining them for you. <laughs> but I will link the audiobook down below so you can read the synopsis of what the author says about it or what Amazon says about it. And yeah, if you think it's interesting sounding, I feel like it was very well written and it was a very enjoyable read. So those are all the things I've been loving lately. Let me know down in the comments below if you've tried any of the things that I mentioned. What do you think of them? Also, let me know what was the one thing or experience that you really enjoy over the past month. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notification bell on so that you don't miss a video from me. Also, if you want to connect more, please check out my newly relaunched blog. It is www.simplyaisha.com. The link is always in the description box. So definitely come check me out over there. Get on my email list. I hope to continue to build my platform over there as well. Also, follow me on Instagram if you want to connect some more. I'm always in my Instagram stories. I also like to post reels every now and again. And I love to chat with y'all on my DM. So definitely check me out on Instagram as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.